All right, y'all. This is Bob's Burger the movie. We gonna tap in. Let's get it let go. Uh uh. What they doing? <laughs> Wait a minute. What they doing up in there? the burger bob it's okay i put an egg on it why is dad making a burger <laughs> at 8 a.m is he on british time he's making it to bring to mr dowling at the bank we have a meeting this morning and we're gonna ask for an extension on our loan payment oh fun and we really really need to get that extension all the restaurant equipment is wrapped up in that loan so you're giving him a burger well i mean we can't give him money tina because we don't have any <laughs> pretty much how about you playing some <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know I love this bring him a burger idea, but isn't it a little early to be making it? I mean, our appointment isn't for a while. This is a practice burger. Why are you whispering? I don't want it to hear him feel bad. Okay. Wait, I'm um, a what? Nothing. What? You're great. Shh, 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 shh. Mm, that feels nice. I know, I know. Don't rub my Bro sesame seeds off. I won't, don't worry. They're a cute couple. Eh, I give him a year. <sighs> <laughs> Every day we come downstairs, unlock the door, and turn the sign to open. <laughs> what? Open. Okay. Here's another day I give myself a little diarrhea from the worry and the stressing and the hoping. Okay. But you I shouldn't think, think about, about those fears now, Mr. Dowling at the bank. Okay. He's gonna say, oh wow, when he tastes our burgers, tastes our fries, oh. he'll probably give us a hug. Okay. And every day, I just think I'm pretty great. Oh, yep, that's right. No big deal. Okay, I'm not hiding what I feel. Okay, Louise, about some things on my mind. Okay, and if they're holding me behind, yo, what you can't do with the switch up. No. Huh? <laughs> Can't deny. You have seven days to make your payment. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was good. That was good because it's like after all that, it's like. <laughs> Can you imagine they performed that in front of him and he was just like, No. <laughs> I'm sorry, let me keep you going. Ready, go! Louise, come do a dead man's drop. Ooh, that's over there and I'm over here. But thank you. She's scared. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. I mean, I'm scared of how comfortable I am over here. She's afraid her hat will fall off. <laughs> You're afraid, Mike. Hat will fall off. So, gotcha. Good one. I mean, kinda. I don't know why she still wears that thing. It's like she's five. Oh boy. <gasps> Baby. <gasps> what did you say? Did she just use the B word? Uh, I'm pretty sure she said lady. I heard rabies. I'll show you rabies. <laughs> easy, easy. What's going on over here? A little conflict? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Louise be ready. <laughs> she be ready to like oh, turn up. Do you think he remembers that I ordered a burger? Uh, um. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> bro, look at Teddy, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go back. Well, like, side up. Yo. Okay, Bob. Bob. Yo, look at you what the heck is Teddy doing? <laughs> Sidewalk's getting worse. Uh -huh. I saw oh, he, hey. he, he tripped. <laughs> oh god, this is the reason why I love this show. I didn't know. <laughs> he tripped. I'm literally crying. I'm sorry. Okay, we're gonna get back. I'm sorry. Oh.
so bad. Where did that come from? Huge sinkholes. I mean, you can't get in the door. Customers need that usually to be able to get into the restaurant. <laughs> He's going through it. This at all. We're doing great. Seven days. He's shaking his head, but that's probably just because he's got a bug on his face. No. <laughs> oh, landlord coming through. Wealthy landlord coming through. That's a big hole, Bob. What did you do? What? I agree. This is in no way caused by <laughs> the leaky outflow pipe. City will take care of this. Probably done soonish. Or sooner. See, Bob? A hole's getting filled. If I had a nickel. Jane. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? <laughs> passing out these flies. Mr. Fishhunter didn't call us back about the rent. We still don't know what kind of maybe that was. 90% of maybes are yeses. Definitely not true. We said maybe to being in Teddy's book club so many times. Well, they fixed the pipe. That's good, right? And it's a pretty blue plastic. So modern. We're hip now. Mm. Hey, Mr. Mopey, what was that thing you told me your mother used to say? I don't know. Something stinks in here? No, it was like hope and grit keeps you out of the you-know-what. Oh, yeah, she did say that. I think she thought that was very edgy. Well, it's true, too. Hmm. Come on, come to bed. Tomorrow the hall will get all filled up and we'll sell a million burgers. And you'll be able to make facial expressions again, huh? Hmm. Happy, hmm. hopeful, hmm. kissy lips. Scott, please. Closed eyes, piggy nose. When? I love Linda. Hmm. Oh, I love you too, Bobby. Okay, bed. Bibbidi, 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 bam! Bibbidi, bibbidi, bam! Thank you! We are the itty bitty bitty committee! Yeah! Hey, Ken, you made it. I thought you were at a conference in Houston. Okay, I'll <laughs> talk to you later. Do you guys want to hear one more so What the? Stop. What? Stop playing. Why? We can hear you from our planet and it makes our teeth hurt. You have... Yeah, I think so. Stop. <laughs> different instruments and maybe figure out if music is, I don't know, your thing. But everyone loves us. No, they were being nice. See, they left. Oh. So, this is getting awkward. Look, I'm not saying we'll destroy your planet, but it's not like off the table if you play one more note on that thing. Um, <laughs> bye. All right. <laughs> I've got a situation at school. Chloe Barbash called me a baby. What do we do? Ideas, go. Shoot her out of a cannon, a karate chop her in half, find a shark and throw it at her. These are just off the top of my head. I don't know if anyone else is going to jump in. Okay, we have cannon, karate, <laughs> shark, what else? Why did she call you a- Why is she dropping these B-bombs on me like it's nothing? It's offensive to, you know, babies. I mean, you are talking to your toys right now. Is this a bad time to bring that up? Uh, your collectibles? Damaged collectibles, some of you? Who are lucky to still be in the mix? <laughs> <laughs> How are these baby? My parents gave me these because it was the first day of preschool and I guess I was scared or something and my mom made them and they gave them to me so I would be brave. So what I'm hearing is your head has not grown since preschool. Hey, some people's heads just start out the perfect size and stay that way, okay? Guys, we're supposed to be coming up with ideas here. How do I step to Chloe, get my rep back and just generally bring it? You go in the hole. The hole in front of the restaurant? Yeah, yeah. Get video. Get it on tape. You down in that scary hole doing your thing? Interesting. Do you know what they say? Babies come out of holes. They don't go into them. Do they say that? <laughs> they do. All the time. I've never heard it. Anyway, there's your dead man's drop, Louise. You drop into the abyss. That sounded cool. Admit it. Your breath's not cool. Oh, please. I brushed. <laughs> so I'm so. It's not that scary. You're just hauling your head right now. Get out of your head. Big girl, pajama pants, come on. Louise, don't go down there, it's dangerous. Louise, don't go down there, it's dangerous. Louise, don't go down there, it's dangerous. I think we got it. That last one was good. I can't. Oh, not what I was expecting? Yeah, well, let's just forget I even brought it up. Oh! Ah! Did you mean to wave your arms all over the place while falling into the hole? Because if so, you nailed it. Yes, it all went great. Can you toss me the light? Here. Ow. Did you say ow because you caught it? Hold on. My foot's stuck. My foot's stuck. That's not at all terrifying. Everything's going to be fine. What the? Uh, 
in her, in her mouth. mouth. And their bones fell on your face. In my mouth. In my mouth. Let's just be clear. I tasted death. I'm sorry you tasted death, Louise, but this is bad. I don't think they fill in crime holes very quickly. Crime hole. Gene. Oh, yeah, they're really slow. Oh, hey, Sergeant Bosco. Yeah, they brush the dirt away with tiny little tools. And their lunch break takes forever because they use tiny forks. I'm kidding about the forks thing, but, uh, yeah, it's gonna take a while. Ah, oh, nuts. Uh, you know, they found a bullet lodged in the ribs, and I don't think he fell on it, if you know what I mean. Mm. So, it's in front of your restaurant. Did you do it? What? No. <laughs> okay, easy, just checking. <laughs> sure? Yes, I'm sure. I don't know. One time I saw him crumple a receipt in a way that made me uncomfortable. So much rage. Jeez. Bro, Prime stop. Hall. Prime hall. Maybe this is a good time to bring this baby out. Cafeteria, pretty magical setting. Just gotta untangle it. Bit. And then it's time for that special moment. I say, throw chicken nugget at my mouth. Okay! Ow, throw it again. Ow, throw it again. God, he's Ow. still trying to catch that chicken nugget in his mouth. His whole eighth grade year. Ow, throw it again. Should we just not do this? No, I want to be able to say I caught his chicken nugget in my mouth more than anything. <laughs> Otherwise, this has all been a waste. I see your point. We'll get you there. <laughs> I, I see your know. point. <laughs> I still can't believe we were living above a dead body this whole time. I couldn't even tell. I wonder who this skeleton was. George Washington? I can't think of any other dead people. Well, whoever it was, they were murdered to death and buried to death by a murderer barrier. And a Scorpio, probably. I'm gonna call him one more time. Hey, yeah, whoa, easy, Bob. Okay. Easy. Land, we have to pay the bank. You shout that a lot now. We only have four days left. There's no way we can pay rent and come up with the bank's money. We haven't sold any burgers. Teddy's had a lot of burgers. Right. We haven't sold any burgers to someone besides <laughs> Teddy. Oh my god, look at the talking about a hole. Discovered earlier this morning under Ocean Avenue has been identified as missing Wonder Wharf employee Daniel D'Angelo, widely known to park customers as Cotton Candy Dan. Cotton Candy Dan? Is that the guy who sold corn dogs? RP. RP to Dan. Taken into custody tonight. Aha! There you go. They have a suspect. Now they'll uncrime scene our hall and fill it in. And Mr. Fish Auto will call us back too, and they'll tell us we can slide on the rent and we'll be on Easy Street. Give Easy Street had a big hole in it, huh? <sighs> Maybe you're right. Sorry. Sorry, I was freaking out. Sorry, everybody. Something's just come in. Oh! This is breaking news. Wonder Wharf owner Calvin Fish Odor has been arrested and charged with the murder of Cotton Candy Dan. <gasps> oh! What the? Oh my God. Okay, that's not good. The police headquarters. Mr. Fishholder, do you have any comment for us at this time? I haven't killed any carnies. There, I think that clears everything up. I refer all further questions to my <laughs> yeah. personal attorney and personal cousin, Grover Fishholder. My client is innocent yeah. and we're gonna prove it. Yeah, sure a bullet from my brother's gun was found in the guy's body. Uh, and sure, yeah, yeah. a lot of people heard him yelling, I'm gonna kill you, carney, and I'm gonna bury your body where no one can find it. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. But who among us hasn't said those exact words while gambling with carnies on a stormy night? Huh? Uh, no one. We've all said those words. <laughs> Uh, maybe. How you doing there, big guy? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I held it together in front of the kids during dinner, but I'm really worried. Oh, yeah? I couldn't tell. Well, it's just our landlord's gonna go to prison, the bank's gonna call in our loan, and then they'll take our restaurant stuff, and we will live in a box on the street. This is what's gonna happen. No, oh, Bob. I need you. The kids need you. What do you mean? You and the kids need me to not go out of business. No! Going out of business down there is not as bad as going out of business in there. My soft back? No, you're hard. <laughs> Look, Stop. I know you two be Bob right now. Bro. All right, emergency kid meeting. What? Now? Here? Yeah, we gotta talk. Outdoor before school emergency kid meeting? Is this about whatever's going on with Tina's bangs right now? I've been wanting to fix them all morning. Wait, what? No, listen, I heard mom and dad talking last night. The restaurant is in big trouble. Boy trouble? Girl trouble? All the trouble. Mr. Fishholder can't go to prison. If he does, mom and dad won't be able to pay the bank, and then that's it. No more restaurant. And what are we gonna do with mom and dad after school if there's no more restaurant? Huh. Signed them up for sports? But the good news is, I think Mr. Yeah. Shoulder is innocent. We did that really well. All right, save Mr. Fishholder, save the restaurant, solve a murder. On three. One, two, three. Save, save Mr. Fishholder, Fishholder save, save the, the restaurant, restaurant, solve a murder. And prove we're not babies and play bar rushes done. Okay, let's move. <laughs> this is how law and order should start, every time. Bob, Linda, come, come see. Uh... Bah, bah, bah. I call it the Mobile Bar Burger Mobile. So you can sell burgers in the street. You can go anywhere. Hot street meat. It's uh, my grill from home, but I upgraded the wheels and I put these bars on it so you can move it. It's got a cooler for drinks. Got a little umbrella here. You got a place to keep buns and toppings. I figure you grill, Linda serves, and I'll push it around for you. So I'll, I'll be there the whole time with you guys, keeping the panther going, being part of each other's lives. Gotta love a good friend. Laughing, Gotta love a good friend. Learning. It's just too much. First fish owner kills Cotton Candy Dan, now this? 
I may have a tattoo of a dagger stabbing a heart going up into a skull and it says dead inside, but I have feelings, you know. Some lucky ducks get all the luck, some break their backs to make a buck, and sure we are a bunch of shady criminal. <laughs> Could you kiss it here and tell me how tough you are and then bring out in the song like that? <laughs> Bro, I can't do this, you know? <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go. Some lucky ducks get all the luck. Yes, they do, but that's not us. I think I'm going to have my next birthday party there. Oh, good idea. Yeah, the theme's going to be disgruntled. That's nice. Um, am I being paranoid or is that big scary carny following us? Ah, maybe he just remembered that he forgot to murder us. Oh, God. Quick, this way. <laughs> Uh, dead end. That's worse than split end. Uh, Tina, why'd you single this way? I didn't. Ah! Wow. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. You were asking who wanted to kill Cotton Candy Dan? No, I mean before, but not anymore. We've moved on. I got something to tell you. I didn't want to say it back there. They don't want to hear what I got to say. We're listening. But maybe not making eye contact? I was there that night, you know. The last night anyone saw Dan. You were? Uh -oh. Yeah, we were playing Lucky Ducky on the wharf. And uh -oh. sure, Dan and Mr. Fish Oder got into a big fight. Uh -oh. Mr. Fish Oder started throwing ducks at Dan's head. He uh -oh. kept yelling duck, and it was confusing. I can uh -oh. see that. Anyway, after the game, I went back because I forgot my stress ball. And it's just Dan, Mr. Fish Oder, and Felix Fish Oder, and they're yelling at each other, and they're all throwing ducks. Wait, Felix was at the game? No, he wasn't. Mr. Fish Oder doesn't let him play Lucky Ducky because Felix gives all the duckies different voices and personalities and it makes it take a while. That's why it was weird that he showed up that night. But nobody back there wants to hear that maybe Mr. Fish Oder didn't do it. Oh my god, of course! Felix Fish Oder! It's so Felix! He has access to Mr. Fish Oder's gun, he was fighting with both Mr. Fish Oder and Con Candy Dan, and most importantly, he has a motive! He has a motive to frame his brother! Because he's mad Mr. Fish Oder doesn't like his Lucky Ducky voices? No, because I bet you if Mr. Fish Oder goes to jail, Felix gets his money. We gotta go to the cops. Ta-da! What's happening? I get it. No questions from this guy. I'm the marketing department. I took Gene's burger suit, let out the crotch a little bit, and bam. I'll push the product while you push the card. But the bikini. It's <gasps> summer and sex sells, baby! Yeah, Bob. Is Stop! Is that a burger with a bikini on it? Ah, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I Bob was like, screw it. We're here to tell you that the police have the wrong guy. Mr. Fish Oder didn't kill Cotton Candy Dan. His brother Felix did. Wait, aren't you kids supposed to be in that place with the books and adults that tell you stuff? Adult bookstore? No. School? Yeah, school. Some of us think we are supposed to be in school right now, yes. Tina, the restaurant? Remember, if Mr. Fish Oder goes to jail, the restaurant goes under. Down under where the didgeridoo, whatever they're gonna do? Uh, you couldn't help even if you wanted to. Because it's a homicide. You don't know anything about that case, do you? I know stuff. I know all the stuff. Name one stuff. I know something that's not in the papers. <laughs> Yeah, right. I do. They found a cufflink in the hole near the body. Yeah? A very unique cufflink. Custom. It's a banana wearing a graduation hat. Hmm, classy. Carnies don't wear cufflinks. True. A lot of tank tops. I know carnies don't wear cufflinks. They searched Fish Oder's house, but they haven't found the other one. Huh. Yeah. But I bet they didn't search Felix's. We need to go to Felix's place and look for that cufflink. Go, go, go. Hate it. Terrible plan. Don't like it. <laughs> oh, good. Looks like you're taking your annoying conversation somewhere else. Bye. Sergeant Bosco, you know you left the light on the top of your car. Huh? What? Oh, damn it! Son of a... Ugh. Okay, at least no one saw. They don't know I'm here. Get away! Get away! Shoo! Shoo! Hey, kids! Hey, Louise! Hey, Critter! You bothering that nice policeman? No. I'm not a policeman. What are you... Son of a... Dick! Heaven? Sounds like heaven? I think she's saying we're number one, but we're not all there upstairs. Oh, my God. I'm saying let's go up the ladder and listen for Felix and see if he's in there. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> Bro. Hello, ma'am, sir. You can order anything from the top third of the front of the menu there and anything from the left side of the middle section on the back of the menu. And you are welcome to a imported olive while you wait. Can I get the toothpick back when you're done? Bob's looking at me funny. Never mind. That is yours to keep. <laughs> oh, here. We looked everywhere. <laughs> did a terrible job. Dude, you're just standing against the wall. Where he'd least suspect. Crap, everybody into the closet. I'm just going upstairs. Gonna get some stuff out of the closet. <gasps> Crap, everybody <gasps> out. What about there? Yes, click, go, 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 go. 
This is lovely. <laughs> what am I forgetting? Have my mints? Packed my sleeping shorts? Ah, I'm good. My wet wipes. I can hire a wet wiper when I get there. Oh, thank God. He's gonna get away. We gotta follow him. Nope, doesn't sound right, Gene. Back me up on this. You can hire a wet wiper? Stop. I know that Felix is a murderer, but it's kind of sweet that he and Fanny are gonna flee the country together. So it's sweet. A real he fled, she fled situation. What? Tina, get your head out of your boobs. Right, right. Hey, Tina, you're not really thinking about Felix and Fanny, are you? Fantasy Jimmy Jr., what are you doing here? You're thinking about me. You're thinking about this. Boom, 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 boom. Holy crap. <sighs> you're not time for this. What is you know happening? What hurry, 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 hurry. <laughs> Our secret clubhouse. What are you doing in your secret clubhouse? I thought you were in jail. I posted bail. Jail bail. Yep, had to. Those beds were bad for my back. How'd you get in here? You were running around up there pressing buttons, weren't you? Of course we were. They're buttons. You pressed the ouchies button. Weren't you worried about ouchies? Eh. Okay, well, you can leave now. Bye. Calvin and I have some business things to do. Mm, you have creepy face again. This is why I think you should grow a beard. You know I can't. Sorry. Can you give us a sec? We just need a hug. We love each other. Gross. Guys, we gotta tell Mr. Fisher that his brother framed him and then get him out of here before Felix does something bad to him. This feels nice. Yeah, we should do this more often. Okay, yeah, but save the restaurant, remember? Great hug. Now, Mr. Fisher, can we talk to you over here? I, I don't hug. Ooh, what's this thing? Jane. Ah, uh, yes, my sweet old organ. Your wiener? That is the orchestra rama I love that. Interesting. Can I, uh... It is interesting. This used to be part of the old park. Uh, this whole... Geez. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ah, Grover, nice of you to join us. Will you ever not be awkward when you come down that slide? <laughs> Someday. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting better at it. No. No, you're not. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Felix killed Cotton Candy Dan. He's framing his brother. What? No. No. <laughs> yes, we overheard him planning to leave the country. Well, that part's true. They're both planning to leave the country. That's why they're here. That's why I'm here. They made me bring them books on tape. They're mostly coloring books on tape. Oh, that works. What the heck? <laughs> that doesn't make okay, nobody wants to solve this crime, and everyone is awful. Oh, let's play that game where we spin you around till you fall over. No, no, I don't like that game. Pictures of silly rich people who just go to Cuba whenever they get charged with murder. Nobody will help us, nobody cares. And the real murderer will just keep living their life and. Huh? Why looking at me like that? Like I farted. The other one's being jerky. Oh, no reason. Uh, well, I forget. <laughs> what are you? What are you holding? Nothing. Some um, candy. Mmm, so good. Now you're gagging. Mm, nope. Mm -mm. Mm. Let me see. He really wants some candy. Spit it. <laughs> what? The, is that a, a tooth? It's so weird looking. And <sighs> that's uh candy for you these days. Looks like weird old teeth. I see. And you enjoy that, do you? Yeah, well, it, it does the trick. Oh, you're uh, pointing a spear gun at us. Yeah, right. Whoa. Nobody move. Nobody move. So, you were looking at the picture and you saw my banana cufflink, which I bought for myself when I graduated law school because no one else got me a present. Oh. Boo hoo. You went to law school? <laughs> you were me. I didn't know he saw <laughs> Now you're in trouble. Our mom and dad are here. Oh, my babies. Oh, my babies. 
And why are you doing all this? Okay, good question. I'll allow it. Look, I'm not bad. Even though I'm not a bad person, so I can run. Car. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> happening bro I, yo why is he singing in a high tone <laughs> i can't yo i cannot bro let's go would you like to hear my master plan okay can you answer fast because i asked you would you like to hear my master plan um yes <laughs> okay that's more like it i'm so glad that you asked you know what I is happening? The shoulder family truck. Something unfortunate is going to happen to us? Uh, yes. Surprise. Oh, poo. Wait, both of us? Yeah, sorry. You were so insistent about going with your brother to Cuba. I bought an outfit. Yes, we know. But let's just say your submarine isn't going to go to Cuba. Oh, Cancun? It won't make it out from under the pier. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Did you think that sub was going to make it to Cuba? Mm, I think we might have gotten a little too excited about the sub idea. <laughs> I mean, isn't it just an old ride? <laughs> yes, it runs on Yo, stop. Wait a second. Is this all about your silly mega park idea? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is about my mega park. My much more efficient and profitable than your what stupid pier. What is mega happening? Park. I want to amend my earlier statement. Here we go. Ugh. I'm not that evil, but I'm feeling evil today. What did I just watch? <laughs> Yo. Ow. Where are we? Get in the clam. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why did he call oh, like that? <laughs> oh, no. What's happening? He's burying us. We gotta get out of here right now. Open, 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 open. Come on, Clam. Let us out of you. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try and break the windshield. Everybody move back. How are we supposed to move back? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay, now pound for real. I am pounding for real. It won't break. <laughs> okay, now pound for real. My legs. This is all my fault. Well, don't everybody speak at once. No, honey, it's not your fault that much. It is though. It's not your fault. I wanted to track down the killer and save the restaurant and prove prove I wasn't a baby. Dog, now you come on. Oh, my baby. I mean, sorry. No, stupid Chloe Barbash was right. I am a baby. I was too scared to go in the hole. I was too scared to open the secret nipple door. Tina had to do it for me, and I wear these freaking ears. I mean, if you're brave, you don't have to prove you're brave. You just are brave. What? Louise, you're, you're brave. You're one of the bravest people I know. It's not true. Also, you don't know that many people. <laughs> I've never been brave. <laughs> the only reason I got these in the first place was because I was scared. What, what do you mean? You know, you gave them to me because I was scared about the first day of preschool. That's not how it happened. I mean, you were nervous, and we had this idea to make it a hat. Your, your, your mother made it. It's sort of in honor of my mom, your grandmother. She used to wear this brightly colored winter hat, even in warm weather. It was a little weird, but it was kind of cute. I guess. She she always said it was because she didn't feel like doing her hair. I think she just liked it. And I had extra <laughs> materials, so, uh, rabbit ears. But I made them after your first day of preschool to celebrate because you were so brave. Really? I was? Yeah. yeah. Do you not remember it that way? No. Yeah, you didn't need them. You were plenty brave. With no hat at all. We, we were so proud of you. You slapped a kid. I did? Yeah, probably for a good reason, let's say. You remind me of my mom. You slapped a kid. And with the hat, it's kind of like you two have met. I keep forgetting that you never did. I wore that bucket on my head for a while. Any fun stories about that? No, I don't remember any. We, we were concerned. Well, <laughs> it's still stuck. <laughs> Daddy, help us out of here. Did you guys get a new car? I, I've never seen this before. <laughs> Daddy, we need you to help us open this. The thing is stuck. This thing is stuck. What'd he say? I do not know. So, bad news. The burger cart fell apart. It was just too beautiful for this world. <laughs> Nothing. No idea what he's saying. Well, Teddy left. Fuck story. I'll tell you later. Oh, 
olive bar. Yeah. 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 Clam bam. Goodbye, clam. That is terrifying. Yeah, you think it would be comforting. Everybody, please get out of here. Bob, don't do it. I don't want you to catch on fire. I don't think you'd like it. Just get away from the wharf. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I can make it. Okay, you're too positive right now. Maybe take it down a notch. Big jump. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Where can him go? I mean, I... He's uh, not used to this much physical. Um, Dad, <laughs> faster. Do you need... Oh, it's getting close to the animals. Okay, got it. If you miss, we won't have a second chance. I know. Very helpful info. Thank you. You might have been right about you. Wait, big faster. I mean, oh, just a lot of beams. This place is over engineered, I think. I'm excited to talk about this with you later. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Pierre, and being alive, and you, my friend. Aw. Gotcha. Ow! You owe me a thousand dollars. Let's play for two. Switch. I'm gonna miss you too, pal. I've always looked up to you. Gotcha! Poop it! Ah, gotcha! Play for three? Gotcha! Ow! I hope you suffocate first. That's interesting. I wonder if that's a giant squid trying to mate with us. Well, it could do a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, front desk person. You were here when I came in three hours ago, weren't you? I remember your, uh, shirt. <laughs> you probably remember me too, right? This face? <laughs> You're not looking up. There you go. You remember this ugly mug, right? You have earbuds in. Did you hear anything I said? Oh, you did. Good. Anyway, this is Grover Fish Odor saying good night. Hi there. First time to see me. <laughs> I beat you. Say good night. I beat you too. Yeah. Let me hear you say Oh! Oh! Okay! So, I was doing parkour down on the beach with Zeke. We're really good at parkouring. Or I'm really good at parkouring. Anyway, I found this. <gasps> it made me think of you. Maybe because you have the same kind of barrette. Do you want it? It smells like seaweed. Jimmy Jr.? Yeah? There's something I wanted to ask you. Something summer boyfriend related? But then I thought maybe it was a stupid question for anyone to ask anyone ever. Oh. And my heart was an idiot. Oh. <laughs> rolling, rolling! I'm doing parkour <laughs> up the locker, J. Ju. You see me? I look like a real awkward. What is oh, happening? <laughs> you fell off the wall. Yeah, what am I looking at here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what were you just saying? You're not gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You think as you like save the wharf or something, you're all brave now? Yeah. On three. One, two, three. <gasps> Your hat fell off. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Louise, reminding you that you have detention today because you skipped school. <laughs> oh. oh my god, your ears fell off. Okay, it's okay. What do we do? What do we do? It's fine. It's not a big deal. Emergency council session? I can get puppets here so fast. Ms. LeBons, will you go to my office and get security blanket Hank and. Oh, just get them all. No. Mr. Fraun, I'm good. Oh, really? She's good. Okay. I'm so proud of Don't say you're so proud of me. Yep. <laughs> so proud Everybody of you. ready? To... Are we dead set on burgers? I mean, is it too late to change that? Oh, yeah. We could do wraps. Or soup. Mmm, mm, soup. Bob's soup and wraps it has a certain sound to it. Oh, my God. Everyone, back inside. Back inside. Thanks for the Wonder Wharf. What a journey. <laughs> Finally, now we can bring out Johnny Jazz hands. Oh, good. Sheila, it's a little crowded. No, it's fine. Okay. Just die. 